Uh, this is huge. Uh, coming off the back of that Adelaide ambush, Queensland winning, New South Wales levelling things up. But as you know, going to Queensland deciding match, uh, not easy. No, not up in uh, Queensland at all. But there's only been two teams ever from New South Wales to win a decider up in Queensland. And it just so happens they were going to win their third series straight. So I think that's a little bit of an omen for New South Wales. But it certainly is hard to win a decider up there. What New South Wales need to do is play with that effort, enthusiasm and intensity they played with in Game 2. I thought they really lacked it in Game 1. I didn't think they respected the ball or their opposition enough. Um, but they certainly did in Game 2. And they come back and, and show just how good they can be. And they need to have that same sort of effort and attitude for Game 3. And I think they can get the win. What explains that change in... There was a mindset. I mean, there was a, they were completely different teams in terms of their resolution. Totally different, Fitzy. And look, if I suppose if we knew that, you'd be a mm, superstar yeah. coach for a long, long time. Because <laughs> you see in rugby league and in all sports, one week they're on yeah. song, everyone's tuned in, everyone's ready to go. And then the next week they, they turn it up and don't play good at all. So that was certainly the case with New South Wales. Game one, I thought in the first half of game one, they didn't respect the ball. They gave Queensland plenty of opportunity to score points and Queensland couldn't score points. I thought their attitude may have been at half-time, well, Queensland can't score. Where are their points going to come from? And it turned out they had two one-on-one -on -one missed tackles and then an intercept. They were the only tries mm. Queensland scored. But game two, from the opening kickoff, they just belted the Queenslanders. And then there was a, there was a point in that match which was really pivotal, I think. The, the Cleary put a kick in, must have caught the ball. It was a seven-tackle set. Queensland went downfield, scored the first try after about five minutes. Now, Queen, New South Wales could have really turned it up then, but they didn't. They had their attitude was on. They were really on song. They kicked off. They belted the Queenslanders, and the rest is history. They went on to score plenty of points, as we know. Yeah, I remember going back before that first uh, game at the Adelaide Oval. You, like I think a lot of us, thought New South Wales would be really tough to beat this series. They didn't play as we thought they'd play. They then came out and played the way we thought they would play, and it's won all now. But... Going to Suncorp, there's going to be 50-odd thousand screaming Queenslanders because our Sydney siders can't go there. Mm -hmm. Where, where's the pressure at? Who, who's under the most pressure? Queensland, because they it's their fortress, or is it New South Wales because they've been the favourites throughout the series? I, I think it's probably still in New South Wales, I, I think, you know, and they, they expect that. They are the favourites. They, they do have a better side. Uh, you know, I, I, I do like the fact they are going to get 50,000 people in there, mm -hmm. but... The, the timing of it's unbelievable, isn't it, with COVID and everything that's happened? <laughs> Decider in Queensland, they get 50,000 there. But uh, I don't think it'll matter. I think if this, ga if this game comes down to, to effort, if the effort and enthusiasm is equal from both sides, I think it then comes down to ability. Mm. And I think the Blues have more ability in their side. I really do. Particularly in key positions, I think the halves cancel themselves out because they're both very, very good. But I think the hooker for the Blues is far and away better than, than the Queenslanders. And also, I think the fullback, James Tedesco, mm. probably the best player in the game. I think in those key positions, I think the Blues will get them. Paul, key position's important, but there might be some changes. They're talking about Kelsey Brown's partner coming in. I'm talking, of course, about Ryan Pappenhausen. <laughs> yes, yeah. thank you. It's just a little one for the netballers. <laughs> uh, so talking about him coming in and making his debut, if that's the case, how do you <clears> see him coping with the pressure of that moment? Oh, look, I think we'll cope with it fine if it, if it is to happen. Oh, I've got to be honest, I don't think it'll happen. I, I, I don't know at all, but I, I can't see him changing that formula they had in Game 2. It was a great, great team effort all around the park. I thought their bench was absolutely outstanding. I, I was a little bit concerned about Nathan Brown coming to the bench. I thought uh, Nathan Brown's a bit mad. I thought he might have gone on and <laughs> had his mad ways about it, particularly when there was a fight or two. Oh, but he, I uh, think he's supposed but to he say never... allegedly. Okay. No, but, he kept, allegedly. but he kept his head and he was absolutely outstanding, along with Isaiah Yo, Junior Poi. It was so good off the bench the other night. So I think I'd, I can't see him changing that formula. Okay. If I may say, without being presumptuous, you've done well in the media world because you don't use weasel words. You just say yes or no and you get to the cut to the chase. So here's the uh, question. Here we go. Load of question uh, load of question. Right. No, just give us question. an answer. Dean Ritchie in the Telegraph has said this is the worst Queensland team in 40 years. Is that fair or unfair? Fair. I think it's the. I think it's the. Look. I look at the look at the period I came through against against Queensland, seeing that great side mm. full of probably a few future immortals, and I look at this current side, and they've got some. Great players, but I think as a team, I, I as I said, when it comes down to ability, I don't yeah. think they've got anywhere near the ability the Blues do. I'm so just I think gonna, it's fair. I'll tell the sports editor, just yeah, hold the back page. We've got <laughs> Gallon, Gallon, no. Gallon We've got, says we've got millions hopeless. watching, oh, Fitzy. Oh, you just spoke about <laughs> ratings a moment ago. They've all heard it. Go to the Blues. Uh, Gal, uh, we saw Women's Origin take centre stage uh, on Friday night, north of the border. Queensland doing the job there. How long until we can see Women's State of Origin being a, a series rather than a one-off match? Look, I, I think they've got to be, be careful that the women in, in how fast they want to push the game. I think what they're doing at the moment is really, really good. I think with a 14 competition uh, in the NRL, so NRLW, so to speak, is good. I, I don't think they want to expand too quickly and dilute the competition. When yeah, you have a look at this State of Origin game, 
It, it is absolutely outstanding quality, and the game itself is brilliant. And when you compare that to some of the NRLW matches, when the back end of the game, a, a team can certainly run away with the Jesus. game. So I think the way they're doing it at the moment is really good, and I'd be growing the, the junior base more, and then uh, expanding that into the seniors. And when, once they expand into the seniors, they obviously go into a, to a series then. I agree in terms of not diluting the NRLW product, but surely, given what we saw on Friday night, that was an outstanding game. Surely we can have three of those. Well, it, it concerns me injuries. You've got, you've got to remember that there's going to be injuries, and if they played in mid-season when they may be playing other rugby league, there's certainly a risk of injuries. And then all of a sudden, if you're, you only got to look at the boys' series this year. You know, how many players have they used already? If all of a sudden you go from using the 17 women here into... 25 women, I think that dilutes the standard. So I, I think the way they're doing it at the moment is pretty good. And the way she's doing that's a fair effort too. Well done. <laughs> Brilliant.